Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Stars with Stassi, where no matter who you are or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Welcome, I'm Stassi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. I'm very excited because this is a reading for Taurus. Happy birthday, Taurus. Super exciting month of May. 2023. Of course, whenever you come to this channel, the readings are timeless. But for now, let's focus on Taurus. Very exciting. Very exciting. So I hope that you are going to do all of the fun stuff this month. And let's see what the cards have to say for you today. Prior to getting started, I've already started receiving some downloads. So if you're new to my channel, I'm going to start with your current energies, recent past, incoming energies, may pull some oracle cards, get a theme for the reading, and I'm just going to tune into my guides. One moment, please. All right. Welcome. Angels, ancestors, interdimensional beings overseeing this act of divination. Hail and welcome. Give me the best and brightest messages for Taurus. All right, Taurus. Let's see. I sensed before the reading even started some shakeups in your financial, um, in your uh, maybe you're looking for a new job. It could be that also I got some incoming messages for relationships. Um, so let's see what happens. All right. All right. What do you have? Hunter, track down your fears and desires. Yeah, I, I was getting this energy too. Like, <clears throat> like that maybe you're in a loop or you're feeling stuck, right? So the hunter is asking you to dig deep, right? Go into that like energy and um and take action you know let's see one more oh earth mother feel loved and comforted i got a feeling of isolation for some of you taurus and you know spirit is definitely wanting to remind all of us um that we are not alone during this time what is this okay two came out all right Water Guardian, connect with your emotions, Taurus. And then be graceful in movement and action. Mm. All right, so this is telling me to create with intention. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that you need to move forward, you know, figure out what it is that you want to do, right? You're starting to feel that excitement within. It's your birthday month. There's a lot of planetary energies going on. Oh, excuse me. Oh. A lot of planetary energies going on. There's a retrograde lunar eclipse in Scorpio. That's going to bring about automatically transformative energy in your sphere. So get in touch with your emotions. Thank you, Spirit. Get in touch with your emotions. And um, as you are, because you are an earth sign and you're a fixed sign, right? Sometimes that um, stick to itiveness if that's a word, with something new, that creative spark. <clears throat> um, sometimes you need to, to really lean into that, right? Lean into that and be graceful about it. With the more intention you put into what you do, Taurus, the, the, the more you're gonna enjoy the thing. And you're not alone, Spirit is saying. Again, I, I am hearing this isolation energy. So we're gonna look into that. All right, let me drink something one second, please. Mm. Taurus. All right. Here, let's use this deck. <clears throat> I was getting these vibes, these relationships vibes for you, Taurus. Um, <clears throat> here in May, you definitely have a lot of planetary energies asking you to investigate finances and also asking you to investigate personal relationships. All right, current energies. For Taurus, in this deck, I will use reversals. Thank you, Spirit. Best and brightest for Taurus, please. Thank you. What do we have? Temperance in the reverse. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Three of Swords in the reverse. And the Devil energy upright. All right, so this is your current energy. Taurus, what I'm feeling here is that you are feeling some type of imbalance and you've recently maybe just gone through this period of release. Um, you know, perhaps you're coming out of a cycle of depression, isolation, which is this devil energy. Um, 
and, and it also you're in this mode of forgiving, which is so, so healthy, Taurus. And I'm really proud of you because, you know, I'm, I'm sensing that there's been some deep pain. There's been, there's been some discord in the, in, in wherever you spend most of your time, which led to some feelings of depression. There could have been, if you were in a relationship recently that didn't um, go the way you had hoped, I'm sensing that currently you're in this energy of forgiveness and coming out of that depression because it led you to a dark place. Maybe you found yourself um, struggling with an addiction. And, you know, there are many things that are addictions, Taurus. It doesn't necessarily have to be that you're out of the bars, you know. It could be that your mind is stuck, you know, doing isolated activities. Maybe you only read books and, and stay in the home or you play video games often and only do that. Um, perhaps maybe you're not getting out enough and doing physical activity that brings you joy. Um, so those are the things, Taurus, that you need to focus on. Also, I'm getting a message from Spirit to spend more time outside. All right. That's too many cards, Spirit. All right. What else do we have for recent past for Taurus? What is this mental... Um, what is let's let's clarify this devil energy what are we releasing pain from what are we releasing pain from spirit all right thank you hey all right recent past the lovers in reverse again it really does look like there was a breakup um this could be within your family this could be within a romantic relationship for some of you it might even go back to a work situation but for the majority of Taurians out there, what I am getting is the same thing I got for Virgo, other earth sign, um, a, a imbalance in the home. Actually, they got the exact same card, the exact, well, in the same position. Fascinating. Here we've got four of pentacles. Hmm. Budgeting vibes. You're, you're, um, it recently you've been minding your money um hmm recently you've been looking for for more i see that you were in this vibe of like you were in these relationship vibes recently and that you were maybe swept up a little bit in the illusion of what it was because i also see that there was some trust issues in that relationship and be mindful of people coming back from the past in May, okay? And I say that because a few things. One, it's your birthday month, so people are, you know, gonna come out of the woodwork to wish Taurus a happy birthday, and so they should. However, happy birthday does not mean it's a free-for-all with Taurus, right? If you had boundaries, you had them there for a reason. Do not forget that, however, do not be so stuck in your ways that you don't allow for forgiveness because you are in forgiveness energy. See this in the reverse. Also, I said in the very beginning that the planets are aligned in such a way that it's going to have you explore past relationships, relationships of all sorts, romantic, um, within the home, um, maybe with mentors, people that we work with. All of these things, especially because um, the full moon we just passed in Libra in April, um, definitely put an illumination on, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? It um, shined a light on all those things that needed to be maybe um, moved out of your way is what I'm hearing. Okay. All right. So Taurus looks like definitely there was this period recently where you felt very creative, you felt very inspired, there was new love, but it really wasn't all that you had expected because even like the Two of Swords came out and that's like indecision. So maybe like you had feelings for this person or vice versa, but it wasn't solid enough um, because there was, you know, maybe this, maybe it was the person that you got entangled with that had mental health issues and it was too much for you. Because I'm, I'm hearing that there was just an imbalance in whatever relationships you found yourself in, Taurus. Hmm. All right, so what's incoming for Taurus in the birthday month of May? Now the 
you've sat in the lessons, Taurus. Let's see. What do we have? Incoming energy for Taurus. Thank you. I love it. I love it. <sighs> Ten of Pentacles. Wish fulfillment. That's like all the stuff. Normally people say wish fulfillment with Ten of Cups, but I see like the Ten of any of these, like you have it all, right? You're not sitting there with the Nine or the Eight wishing you had the Ten. You've got the Ten. That's right. That's what you're getting. Unexpected financial windfall. It must be an earth sign thing. Virgo got the same thing. I'm gonna have to find me an earth sign. All joking aside. Unexpected financial windfall. Lump sum. Will. Deeds. Trust. Inheritance. Lots of good money coming in. The chariot. What else? <gasps> Love. Upright. What else? Standing your ground. Oh, Taurus. May has some good stuff coming for you. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So I did say earlier that you might be looking for something different financially and also with love. And what do we have here? Chariot energy, Ten of Pentacles energy, divine counterpart energy. It looks like this period of forgiveness, right? That you had this period of forgiveness. I love it. <sighs> this period of forgiveness and this period of introspection and letting go of this devil energy, right? <clears throat> has led you to find the divine counterpart, not the divine counterpart, but <clears throat> the, the polarity you were with this devil energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, come through. <laughs> I'm so excited for you, Taurus. All right, you were in this devil energy, the 15, and then you ended up in like the two of cups. Now, two of cups and lovers, what is the difference? You wanna know? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> so the lovers is the six, where the devil is the six. You see the 15, five, one, six, harmony, balance, love, Venus energy, all the good stuff, all the good feels. Now, like I said, you were in this devil energy in May. That's your current vibes. But incoming is two of cups. Two of cups. That's a divine partnership. That is everyday love. That's not a life. That's not a life lesson, which is generally what the major arcana um, cards are. They're like life lesson vibes. When you get down to the um, all of the rest of the cards, the minor arcana, that is like the influence of your everyday life. And so this card is really talking about like your day-to-day -day relationship vibes. So your day-to-day -day relationship vibes are showing really just divine counterpart love. Virgo had the same thing. You earth energies have called it in, I'll tell you. And then you've got your 10 of pentacles with the chariot. It's coming in hot, Virgo. Yes, yes, yes. But listen here, I'm going to say it again to you, Mercury retrograde vibes. You hear me? I might have called you Virgo just now. The two of you have a lot going on in common. Can't wait to see Capricorn. But look, Taurus, stand your ground. Because also the reason I said Mercury retrograde vibes is because I'm getting this sense that you may have to again battle that um, demon. <laughs> I don't want to say that. That's awful. But battle that energy, that temptation. I see that the temptation that you are dealing with in the beginning of May may circle back around towards the end of May into April. I went the wrong direction. June. The word is June. The month is June. Careful. All right. Even just now speaking about retrograde, I turned us back a month. <laughs> All right. Stand your ground, Tara. Stand your ground because you're headed in the right direction. And I love it. You're headed in the right direction. This um, two of swords came out in the reverse. That could be like a delay in plans. So even though you are receiving all of the fun things towards the end of May as well. Like I said, if that past energy tries to vibe back into your sphere, 
remember that this is going to probably not be the best for you because currently spirit is uh, providing you a pathway in May that might feel slightly uncomfortable at first, but it is going to lead to all the right things. Knight of Pentacles vibe. It came out upright routine. So be patient because again, unexpected sources of income, a windfall of money. You never know where this is going to come from and it's really not important, right? Doesn't matter how. Spirit hears your cry, your need, your desires, and that's what's being answered. I love it. All right, how can Taurus, what kind of vibes does Taurus need? All right, <clears throat> let's go here. I love these cards. I'm getting, um, What's the vibe I'm getting for you guys? I'm getting like a lot of number five vibes, like um, disruption and hope. Hmm, let's see what happens. Meaning that like you have, uh, all right, hold on, let me, one thing at a time. Wait a second. A lot of messages that are coming in, but what kind of vibes does Taurus need to carry through the month of May? What kind of vibes are we working with? Cosmic Womb, number six, the Divine Feminine. Stars in the Sky, number 51, another six. Lost Compass, getting back to integrity. Caterpillar, Cat Opportunity, fascinating. Bottom of the deck. I'm gonna pull five cards. Let's see. Yes, I saw it. Okay, so we've got the cosmic womb. I see that always as birthing something new, finding yourself in harmony, finding yourself comforted. Actually, look, Mother Earth and comfort, the cosmic womb. Taurus, I'm feeling like some of you are in need of nurturing. Be kinder to yourselves, okay? Taurus, maybe not always the most emotional creature. Get in contact with that party. Oh, yeah, we had that already, right? Water Guardian. Get in contact with your divine feminine, your, your more emotional side. You're going to need to tap into those emotions to, um, to connect with this new incoming energy. I really sense for some of you that you are going to be attracting a water sign. And so it's going to require you to get in your feels, Taurus. It's going to require it. You earth people are going to have to get in your feels opportunity, luck and right timing. I'm telling you something about, look, limitless possibility. This screams to me, cha-ching goes the money tree, okay? Really, truly, I don't know what you guys are doing. Play the lottery. I, I Listen, I don't know. I don't know what you're into, but I like it. I'm seeing things going in your favor. And I'm also seeing that you're walking away again from things that are, the reason that you don't like the things that you're walking away from is more about the integrity and the value of the people that were in that circle. That's what I'm hearing, Taurus. I'm hearing, I'm hearing that you're very much in your integrity vibes and that you wanna find that again. Like you wanna find like-minded people. And when you start pursuing that path of, people that resonate the way you do, you're going to really walk into all of that limitless possibility because you're going to feel inspired, right? You need that energy around you. And you had those forgiveness vibes early on. Okay. I like it. I like it. What else? What else? All right, let's do this. Hmm. Actually, all right. We'll do it. We'll do it all. They said we'll do it all. We can do it all. I've got nothing for time for you, Taurus. Nothing but time. Time for Taurus. I thought it could be a song. It's Taurus time. It's Taurus time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Any act of divination requires a sense of humor because the things that you hear. <laughs> all right. What do we have? Boom. This came up, I love this card. Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Didn't I just say that? Didn't I just say, I don't know how to break this to you, Taurus. I told you I was psychic. <laughs> but right before this card came out, as your trusted psychic and your favorite one, by the way, 
I did say to you that you were looking for home, right? You were looking for people that were vibrating the way you do. And you need to do that. This is the card that literally reads, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Mm. The decisions you make this month in May will affect you for at least a year and a half, okay? At least. So you need to really start thinking about what energy you want to be about because you're going to attract all of the things, but you've got to do the work to stay in the mindset that's not the devil energy, right? You, you just, anytime you feel yourself being pulled to something that's depressing or a, a barrier, you don't have to like swing the pendulum all the way back to like joy and love. And I mean, right? Swing it back to center, just the reset button. That's all you got to do. Get back to the middle. Spirit will take care of the rest, right? The people around you that vibe properly will take care of the rest. All right. What else do we have for Taurus? Again, I'm seeing a lot of movement for you guys, movement in jobs, movement in money, movement in love, forgiveness was a big theme here. Mm -hmm. This is going to go well for you, Taurus. All right, what can we manifest for Taurus? What is this? I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. You are, Taurus. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. You are worthy of feeling good. You're worthy of all the stuff right? Don't let people mistake your kindness for anything but that. Let's put it that way, right? Taurus is reserved. Taurus can be quiet. Taurus can be all-knowing. Taurus can be stubborn. <laughs> we love you, Taurus, but you two are worthy of having fun and going out and the spotlight can be on you. And this month it is your birthday, right? It's your birthday and I'm telling you, the money's coming to you, but you gotta do the work. You gotta figure out what makes you happy and go build the thing. Love is coming to you, but you've gotta keep that refining, that skill of forgiveness so you can open up the paths for all of the things that are coming your way. I promise you, I can see it. Then here, I'm, I promise you, you are worthy of feeling good. You're worthy of going out and excitement and enjoyment and let somebody make a big deal over you. Enjoy it. It's your time. It's your time to shine, Taurus. All the good stuff. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Taurus. And of course, share, like, subscribe, smash the notification bell on all of the other amazing videos that are coming. But more importantly than that, in closing, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it, Taurus. Be the light that shines. Step into your gifts. Be unafraid. Do it all. Do it all. Until next time, shine brightly and happy birthday, Taurus. Enjoy yourself.